Good morning, friends. Cheryl here with Ink Pulp. And we're back with Art Before Breakfast. And I have been playing this morning with... Um, hang on, let me get my YouTube up here real quick. How How's the gang? Y'all behaving yourselves? There we go. Are you all behaving? Hey, Bonnie. So I thought this morning, and I'm just playing with how to make this work. Um... Playing with how to make this work. I want to make a little journal. There we go. But I want to make it so that I can um, sew it. Oh, everybody's, everybody is behaving except you. How could that be? How could that be, Bonnie? Not our Bonnie. Okay, so they're all on that side. So I've never done this before, and maybe if some of you have, you could help me. One, two, three, four. Maybe we do it like this and just sew it through the middle. And then we can do whatever we want with those flaps. Okay. So I want to make a little mini journal, and I guess this is how I would do it, so that I could sew it. So I've got these little pages here. And I think I need to turn these the other way on a couple of them. So you guys will see what I'm what I'm getting at here. So I want to, there we go, there we go. And I want to be able to glue that down because um, we'll make pockets on the sides. So I put the glue that way and then the glue goes this way. And then it goes this way. Nope, because that... Hey, Pam, I am working through my dilemma here. So we have that. And then we have that. Okay, and then we have that, and then I need two more. I need one that goes out, so you guys will see what I'm doing here in a minute. Y'all probably think I'm crazy. And that, okay. There we go. So if we make that the journal, then I can sew through each of the folios. Lori B. Did I miss Big Mama? There she is. How are you guys doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, yeah, I've got enough. Hello and good morning, Cheryl. Okay, so and then what I'm going to do, because I'm sealing up all of the um, insides, is I'm going to take my knife and cut down the side and make these all side pockets to even them up. 
and then those will all be side pockets. And then I found this. I found these in my stash. These are from G. Kerr, Car Kerr. Um, this is one of her Friday freebies. Oh no, this is Digital Collage Club. I'm sorry. Digital Collage Club. This is number... I printed out a whole bunch of stuff and I put the number on them. 964. It's called Vintage Birds. They're chattering together. Well, who would have ever guessed that Big Mama and... Let me bring this down just a little bit. That Big Mama and Mimi would be talking. That's crazy. All right, so I'm going to put these envelopes together, and I've managed to put them together so the flaps will close up the envelopes. And I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then... Yeah, and then we can cut them off and then we can decorate. And I probably want to do it this way so I have the blank one over here. All right, so let's start gluing these babies down. She's making her coffee. <laughs> Save me. Oh, Big Mama, you love every minute of it, and you know you do. You know it, Big Mama. Hi, Paula. I'm so glad you've been coming back. I know you had stuff going on, and... But we missed you. Um, all right. So there we go. There's a folio. So we just need to make a few of these folios. got three of them. And these are old. These are little envelopes. They're um, five by three and a half by five. They're like little invitation envelopes. And I'm just going to fold them together like this. Has anybody ever done anything like this? This is new for me. I just sat down and started playing. So this is going to be a little mini bird journal. A little mini bird journal. She got her holsters on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And this one. All right, so here we go, a little mini a little mini bird journal, and then we'll cut the pockets in a bit, and we'll think about what to do for a cover. This one needs to go this way. And this one needs to go this way. So who did I miss here? We've got Bonnie, Lori B, Paula, April, Nydia, Pam. Oh, 
Oh, did they go shopping for fleas? I was thinking that maybe I would leave one of these, so this will be just a little journal, but with lots of pockets. Maybe I'll leave this first one as the cover. You gave them to Bonnie. Maybe that'll be the cover because it's nice and stiff and I won't cut that one. Um, we'll just decorate it. And then we'll have the insides and then we can decorate the back. How about that? How about if we do that? All right, I am going to stitch this together. Um, oh, I'm all tangled up in my... Hang on, you guys. I got all tangled up in my glue gun or my heat gun. So, Big Mama, how is it so far? Has your house been destroyed yet? Is everybody behaving? Have the cops been called for noise? What's going on there? Do tell. No one's paying attention to her. Well, they're not paying attention to me either, Big Mama, so don't worry. Oh, but you got to cut her some slack because she did come early to help you. And that was a nice thing to do. Bonnie looks surprised to hear that. Are you making stuff up, Big Mama? Are you telling stories that aren't true? Let's do this. And that, and then we can go right through. And I'm not even going to measure. I'm just going to start poking holes. There we go. Now, I think that I want the string to be on the outside. Don't make me count to three. <laughs> oh, you girls are so fun. That tells me that you're having fun. All right, let's go right about here. Then right about here. And I know one side is longer than the other, but that's okay. Fifteen minutes ago, what, Bonnie? <clears throat> It's so nice to hear you guys are having fun there and teasing and cutting up and I so wish I could have been there. Next time. Next time, Big Mama. All right, and we'll leave that. All right, so there's our little journal. Now, I think I'm going to wait until I have, well, no, I don't think I'm going to wait. I was going to wait until all the pages were decorated to cut it, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right now. 
so that it's ready to go. And I'm going to take a few passes. They stopped listening. Oh, 15 minutes ago, they stopped listening. Time to break out the sheriff's badge and the handcuffs. Have you found a place to um, call the jail so you can toss them in the brig if they're just not behaving? So how long is everybody staying? There we go. They are all done. Oops. I missed a little spot down here. I should have had this on the mat and not on my... Not on my tile. Okay, there we go, there we go, and then let's cut off a couple of extra. So has anybody ever done this kind of little journal? Tuesday and Wednesday, wow, you guys are there for a long time. Wowza. All right, there's our little baby journal made out of envelopes. And each one is a side tuck pocket. Oh, we're going to have to glue down those a little better. At least on this one. Well, I'll do it when I get to it. All right. Not long enough. Hi, Susan. We're just hearing about all the gang at Big Mama's and all the trouble they're giving Bonnie. Now let's just go through and... I thought I got these all up to the edge, but I guess I didn't. Um, so we're making a little envelope journal, Susan. And so I made folios out of the envelopes. Oh, those will be fine because they're, oh, it's up here. Um, I made, oh, hello, Marie. It is Marie, right? I am getting that correct. I think it is. Yeah, this is nice because they're um, the pages are really sturdy this way. Hey, Darla. I just made this up this morning. I didn't see anybody. I'm not saying I made up the idea of how to put this together. I'm sure somebody else has done it, too. But for me, it's not like I saw something and said, oh, I want to make that. I, um, oh, well, that's it. I am so bad with names at first. Once I get it down pat, I'll, I'll remember. And you were, 
Darla's friend. <laughs> well, it sounds like everybody's having a wonderful time, Big Mama. Okay, now what I wanted to do was to tear out these cards. And this is from the Digital Collage Club. So, Susan, I know you're a member. So this, um, these birds are from the Digital Collage Club. And I'm going to tear them out so they have a rough edge. Because that's kind of how it is on the... Yeah, she was back the other day when you weren't here, too, and I am so glad, too. I just love it when we get our... Well, Nell is a friend of Darla, and I think Darla really talked us up, so... I know. Isn't that club great? I just bought the whole year membership, I mean, the lifetime membership, because... If you renew it every year, two years, and you paid for the lifetime. So originally, I bought the light, uh, the one year because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Um, <laughs> yes, you did. You're a member of, oh, you, the Digital Collage Club? Cheryl, are you part of that as well? What do you mean? What am I doing? Oh, that is coffee and oat milk. About a third of a cup of oat milk filled with coffee. And then, um, yeah, I, it, so anyway, let me answer one thing at a time. So this is, and oat milk is kind of a grayish color. So it does, it's not white, white, like regular milk is, um, but I will tell you guys, I've said this before, I'll say it again. It's not hot chocolate. Um, it's coffee and oat milk. And oat milk, if you've never tried it, you guys owe it to yourself to try it once. Get one little quart of oat milk because, hi Marie, um, Oh, yeah. No, it's not Digital Collage Club anymore. You're right. She changed the name of it. It's Making and Creating now. Thank you, Susan, for that reminder. I've been a member so long, I just think Digital Collage Club. And that's what's typed on my... Oh, my gosh. They have thousands of things. Isn't it wonderful? Um, I'm sorry, not Jen Marie. Isn't it wonderful? It's just oat milk is so creamy. Um, I love the Digital Collage Club. I get a lot of stuff from them. I'll go through on a kick and I will um, pay for, hang on, let me get my little, let me get my little thing. My envelope. Hmm. I've got one of those. Here's one. Um, I don't know where. Oh, the second one is down here. So these are some of the um, things I've printed out. And they all have numbers on them. So what I do is clip them together with the number so that, um, so here's this one. This is called Grunge Butterfly. And I've got some, you know, grungy things there. Ah, uh, this is called I Believe in Fairies. Isn't that cute? Um, so I print them out with the number. That way, when I use them up, I can go back and print again. This is called Darling Quotes. So these are all little quotes on here. This one is called Seeds. And it's just all flowers and 
And so all of these are from the Digital Collage Club. Oh, I've used these a lot. Um, these are the beads. Butterflies. I like that page. Yeah, you can go in. I think you can look at everything. Look at those butterflies. I need to cut some of these out. Um, oh, look at that page. Wouldn't that be pretty if you were doing something with butterflies? But anyway, these are the Gibson girls. Ooh, fun tags. But anyway, once you become a member, this one's called Birds and Butterflies. This is a big one. So it's just all oops camera oh look at those so just a lot of fun stuff and that's just a few of them i have um so i have these and then i have a whole nother envelope full of them and I, like I said, when I print out one of the kits, I'll download a bunch and print them out <clears throat> then put them in these little folders. And then when I use one up, I'll go print it again to replace it so that I always have. And th this is a fraction of what they have. These are just the ones that I liked. Like, look at this one. This is called Vintage Invoice Paper. So you've got all sorts of, you know, ledgers, <clears throat> a bird, there's some more ledgers. Hi, Mike. Here's some of the lace holders. This one is vintage fashion, and it's a big one too. So it's got all sorts of fashion stuff in the old magazines here's another butterflies oh look at that one with the fairy in the middle oh i'm getting low on butterflies i probably need to cut this one out and then re or just reprint it and cut the print and then this is a bee journal kit so it's a whole journal kit in here for bees. So anyway, those are just a few of the ones that I've cut out um, or that I've printed. But I highly recommend it because it's not a monthly fee. You don't have to pay every month. And there are so and she she adds to it regularly. So there's all kinds and I haven't been recently to go see what's in there. But you see how many I have printed out. I have plenty to work with for a while. I know, I know. I I can't recommend the digital collage or the. It's called making and creating now, and I don't. If you search for digital collage club, I would imagine it's still going to come up. But she did change. I don't know why she changed the name. Maybe she ran into some copyright. You know, somebody said they already had that name or something. I don't know. I don't know why she changed it, but she did. And to me, it will always be the Dodge Club. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm not seeing it, Cheryl. You know what I would do with those pages, Cheryl? And I don't know if it'll work, but I would certainly try it. And that is take some matte. I did. And I haven't responded yet. I will put it out there, Mike, because that's, that's great. Mike sent me a video of a little bird tearing paper. Ah, there it is, makingandcreating.com. Iron Reynolds plastic freezer to it. The back of the page is a journaling. Oh, you're so crafty. 
I would definitely put washi in the spine to make it stronger. That's a great idea, Big Mama. I never, you have so many wonderful ideas. So there's a new idea for you all. You learned something new today from our own Big Mama. Iron on um, Reynolds plastic freezer paper. And I'm guessing you put the plastic side to the pay or to the vintage paper. I mean, you put it on just the back is what I'm trying to say here. Now, there was another question that came up. It was Paula's question about what I drink. Paula, I don't know if you've been here since I talked about it, and I'm not going to go on and on because I've already done that with these girls. They're probably sick of hearing about it. But hubby and I went on a plant-based diet, so we don't do any anymore. And I was drinking almond milk for a long time. I had just that little bit of almond flavor. I really liked it. But in coffee, it just turned really bitter and nasty. And so I had given up coffee thinking, okay, I'm not going to be able to do coffee anymore. Well, then we tried oat milk. In fact, Starbucks now, if you guys want to try it and not buy a whole carton of oat milk, Starbucks sells a latte <clears throat> made with oat milk. It is so good. Oat milk is just, it's creamier, it's richer. Um, I don't know how to explain it than regular milk. In fact, we found at our local Harris Teeter store, Breyer's ice cream makes a non-dairy version with um, oat milk. And on theirs, um, they have a vanilla and they also have a um, cookies, um, like a cookies and cream. It's got like Oreos in it, but there's no dairy in it. And hubby loves it. Oh my gosh. I, I don't eat it very often because it still has sugar in it. I mean, I do eat it once in a while. But hubby eats it almost every little bowl of it. And um, we buy those things two at a time. And um, he says he likes it better than regular ice cream because it's richer. Um, I just, oh, there's something about oat milk that's really rich and creamy. I'll be curious, Mimi. You'll have to tell me what you think of it when you try it. Because it, we love it. And you guys... Sugar cane is a plant. Yes. Yeah, that, yeah, sugar is, is, um, and I use for a plant substitute, and I asked my doctor if this was okay, and she said, yes, I use stevia because stevia is a plant as well. So, you guys, I have to tell you while I ink these pages up. I have to tell you what I made for dinner last night. And some of you will probably go, ew, but I'm not kidding you. My husband said, I think that's the most savory dish you have ever made, plant-based or not. I was like, wow. I made mushroom stroganoff last night. And, ooh, Marty. Oh, my gosh. And for the sauce... If you take a cup of cashews, and I soaked them for all afternoon to get them soft. If you take like a cup of raw cashews, put them in a blender with a cup and a half of water and blend them until 
you know, there's no chunks in it anymore. It just, it takes a little while. You got to leave them on blend for a little while. But if you do that, it makes the creamy, it's called cashew cream. And so I just, you know, I sauteed onion. I had green onion and red onion and uh, all my mushrooms. And I used a whole, like one pound of mushrooms and I sliced them all up. And you can use any kind of mushrooms. I only had the white ones. But you saute all of that and then, you know, put a little spice in it. I put some Worcestershire. I put just a dash of nutmeg and, you know, salt and pepper. And, oh, you put garlic in with the onion mushrooms and then when that's all done you pour the cashew cream in and then I put in probably about a third of a cup maybe of vegan sour cream and you know mix that all up now I did cheat a little there's one thing I haven't completely given up the dairy on and that is our noodles we use the no yolk egg noodles, but we love those egg noodles. So, popping to shop. Be back later. Um, you have the button. Cindy. Who's here? Cindy, 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 Cindy. Oh, my gosh. And then you put that over... Um, you know, you put that over the egg noodles or you could put it over rice or it was really good. It was so good. Husband's like, I love this. Cindy Duncan Arts. How did you find us, Cindy? And welcome. Welcome. So anyway, that was my dinner last night. We had mushroom stroganoff. And I took the recipe I found online. It didn't have the nutmeg in it. It didn't call for Worcestershire. And it didn't call for the sour cream. But I added all that stuff. Kind of doctored up made it my own. It was yummy. Mama got sent to the corner oh yeah i do go to janet nash's very cool so tell us are you do you live in the states do you live in the uk or some other country give us an idea of where you're from so we know yeah mike was here he was going shopping he said he just left A Nashette. Does that mean Nashville? Tennessee? You're not too far from me. I'm in North Carolina. Western North Carolina. So we're pretty close to, well, I can be in South Carolina and Greenville, South Carolina in half an hour. Um, we're close to the Tennessee border and Virginia. So let me tell you one. The rest you'll pick up as you go. But um, Janet Nashat. <laughs> um, so Cindy, if you, after this video posts or on any of my static, you know, just recorded videos, if you comment on them, you go into a drawing, into a happy mail drawing. And the first day of every month, I... Oh, you're in Ohio.
Okay, Ohio. I thought I thought I took Nash to be like Nashville, Tennessee. I was making assumptions. There you go. Um, so anyway, all of the comments, um, every comment you make during the month, the previous month. So when we do the May drawing, it'll be for the April comments. And um, you go into a drawing. Hi, Stacy. And let me show you Big Mama won, or not Big Mama, why am I saying Big Mama? Um, Mimi won this last month, and I still happen to have it right here. It was this, I try to do a nice giveaway, some roses, a bunch of fabric. Mimi, did you see you got another piece of this sunflower? I know you ordered some, but you got another piece of this in here. And I knew you would love it. Um, so there's all sorts of fabric in there. Here's a linen napkin. Um, here's some couple pieces of lace and a vintage hanky. And then some paper things, some divider cards. These are cards to, um, they're Asian theme, but they're like greeting cards or note cards. And then a pack of envelopes. So that's the kind of thing, Cindy, that, um, is given away and I haven't sent it yet because um, Mimi has a she bought for my sale so once I get my invoicing done for that um, then she'll get it with her order all right All right, now they're all inked up. So be sure you comment, Cindy, especially if you plan to, you know, come back. Make sure you comment on the video so you go in. And I do the final drawing live on the first day of the month. It's always live, so some of the girls like to come in and see what's um, what's what. All right. So let's go back to our journal. I don't want to put anything on the cover just yet. So let's go. For those who came in after I put this together, this is just envelopes that have been glued together to make folios. And then I cut the sides off to make side tucks. So, yeah. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put these, and I could do it either way. You guys tell me. I actually maybe let this side be a writing page. I don't know, because it's completely smooth. This is not smooth, but I could put paper or lace or something else. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> So what do you guys think? Should I put this on the page that has the flap glued down? Or should I put it on the plain page? Because that would, you could write on that. I could put a bigger page on that. It's just got the little bit of ridges on there. But you could still write on it. Yeah, thank you, Marie. It's, um, it's just something I started thinking about this morning. Um, it's not something I saw from anybody else. Um, so you guys help me out here. Oh, and we're very interactive, Cindy. We, um, give a lot of input. What do you guys think? Big Mama, if you're there, I would love your input. So I can either put that on there and do some, you know, collages around it, or I could collage on every one of these pages and then leave the writing. I could collage and then put... I could collage like with book page. What about that? What if we collage with book page? And then, so I was going to put one of these down on each of the pages. And then we've got room up here. We could put something. Oh, I like that parrot for the middle. You like the, I like the book page idea too. We can just collage a bunch of
Oh, yes. If you have a paid, if you have a, or we could do book and music. Yeah, could music because the um, birds sing, maybe? Okay. I don't know. I was just picking these. They, they could be other ones in there, too. But anyway, I just put a little bird on one side. And yeah, let's collage. We may not finish this all today, but um, should we mix book and music? Yeah, on the side with the flap. I agree. All right, let me get... Oh, look at that yummy brown page. And it's real crispy. Um, I don't know. Piano pieces, the whole world plays. And then... Um, for a book, I've got, I've got this dictionary for boys and girls. How about if we use that? Music only? Okay, so let's time for a vote because we've got some different ideas. Should we do um, Oh good, we'll all go subscribe to it, Cindy. Um, we could do book only, we could do music only, or we could do a combination. So vote book, music, or both. Okay, please vote for me, and I'm going to pull out another, because if we do music only, we'll need to have a few different ones. Look at this old hymnal. I'm heaven bound. Oh, hey, brainy mess, or Ava. Well, I hope you join us and come back because we are crazy. Okay, I have two, three for just music, and I have two for both. Um, anybody else want to vote? Ava, you want to vote? We're going to do collage behind these little postcard pictures. And the collage can be like music only. And I wouldn't even have to collage. I could just put a whole thing of music down behind it. Um, or uh, music, music. Okay. I have a lot that are just music. Okay. So now I have another vote for you. We'll do music only. And I'll go find one more book so we have some variety. Um, should I collage the music pieces on? Or should I just put... Well, thank you, Ava and Bonnie. So should I just put a whole piece of music behind it? Or should I collage? You guys vote. Poll or collage. And I'm going to find one more music book. Okay, I gotta go look in the back. Pray for me as I walk through my piles of stuff that I don't fall and break my neck. Oh, I found something right here. I found this grand opera book. Collage, okay. 
I only have one vote. Oh, two for collage. Okay. I have this grand opera book and it's got music and um, printed text. So I'll just take out, that's a good one. Fun. Okay. All right, that should be enough pieces. You don't like collage? Well, you're outvoted. I'm sorry, Bonnie. I'm so, so sorry. I am so, so, so sorry. It's no fun getting outvoted, and I get outvoted often, so I get it. Well, Cindy, it's Cheryl, just like I just like mine. She just spells it different. But it's pronounced just like mine is. Her mama just one to be a little different so she left the y out she spelled it with an s and then just left the y off of the name <laughs> well hi julie i often watch your channel i don't speak up but i do often watch oh all right, I'm just going to cut these or tear these into little pieces like rectangles and you would have voted no collage too. Well, but even if you did vote no collage, um, Mainly a collage. Ah. Yeah, I've, I'm going to have to subscribe and start coming in and and uh, talking. And I don't know if I could do the challenges. I have so much going on. Julie, I am a metalsmith in addition. I make jewelry and home decor items. And I sell those retail. So keeping up with all that in fact she's been bugging me for some more inventory um i just doing an actual challenge is a challenge for me i get stressed out okay is he feeling better cheryl Cheryl's dog has been really sick. All right, there's that page. Oops, I'm only going to do one of these pages for now. Um, oh, good. Oh, um, crafting on the back 40. It's, um, <clears throat> see, Cheryl's got to run. Um, oh, there's Dear Julie Julie's link. Um, will you put in um, April's link? So we usually 
meet, we meet Julie every, I didn't see it. What did I not see? What did I miss? Please put it in again. If I miss something, I am so sorry. Sometimes it goes by too fast. Okay, so there's April's link. Three times, Darla. So I am looking now. Put in, let me go back and see if I can find it. I've been focused on tearing up these little papers and Oh, hi, Susan. So, Stacy, what did I miss? Tell me what I missed that you were saying. And I'm so sorry. I did not mean to, you know me, I didn't mean to ignore you. Uh-oh. Okay, there's that one. And now we'll do this. Yeah, we did that one. And we'll do one of these pages. Look at all of those music notes. I put in whole, but on a tilt. Oh. Uh, Well, that would have been interesting. Maybe we could do one page like that. Maybe they don't all have to be collage. That's kind of a fun idea. So yeah, hang in there with me, Stacy. if I don't see. Uh, I um, We're getting so many people in here now. It's hard to keep up. Gosh, we've got 25. Um. If y'all would do the thumbs up thing, that would be wonderful. All right, so let's. Yeah, no, I would never intentionally do that. That's just not me. And all of these little scraps with the beautiful um, discoloration, I will use those and stamp words on them. So we have, that's where I get a lot of my stamps that we use to put words on stuff. Um... My husband's working out my insurance. Oh, you guys, did you see on my Ink Pulp channel, I finished, well, I showed you guys the journal, but I did a, an official video, a flip through of Maria's um, Celebration of Life book. I snuck upstairs to pet your journals. <laughs> I have been saying, Bonnie, that before the end of this year, I will own a Lori B. journal. It'll be a little while because I'm broke right now, but I'm not broke, but watching the money till my Social Security starts coming in. I'm so excited about finally getting Social Security and having a regular monthly income. I mean, I have my store that I get income from, but that's not consistent. It's not the same every month. Some months it's great, some months it's just okay. All right. I don't normally use a glue book, but I'm going to on this one. 
and I am not going to ink up all these pages. That would take way too long. I did. I mailed it yesterday. In fact, let me show you a picture. of how I packaged it. So there's the packaging. It was wrapped in tissue paper and that was a card that I made. And I wrote a nice note to her on the inside and then it's got the lace bow on it. So that's what it looked like when it went in the box. And she should have it by, um, what is today? This Friday. She should have it by either tomorrow or Monday. Um, so yeah, I did. <laughs> yes, thumbs up everybody if you would. I would appreciate it. So I'm going to do, and I'm going to do these in different orientations. I'm not going to make them all go up and down. Just curious how good my um, microphone is. Can you guys hear my husband talking? Yeah, what's a keepsake? The Celebration of Life book? Yeah. I... Uh, Um, I hope she loves it. I hope I did her proud. That's what I put in the note. I hope I did Frank's memory justice. Um, wow, he's out my craft door, down the hall, and talking on his phone. That's funny that you can hear him. That's what I wondered, is if you could hear. Let's see if I have a nice big piece that can go in there. Not quite big enough. All right. All right, I'm going to put that one on there. Oops. This is really, really, really crunchy paper. I tore it, but I think we can piece it back together. Nope, I was going to put it this way to be different, something a little different. Now it's stuck to my finger. All right, so there's the first collage. Now, let's see which bird, because this is the first page, I want to put a real, I want to put either that bird or that bird. <laughs> that one I think is the best one. I do also have these. They're a bit smaller. I think they're smaller. No, they're actually not. I could do, oh, look at this one. I could actually do these birds too.
these would be really nice. So if you weren't here, thank you guys. Oh, well, he's working on my, um, I have to have medical insurance between now and when I start collecting or when I am eligible for Medicare. So he's working with an insurance agent. So if you find that interesting, Marty, have at it, dear. All right, so we have this. Let me look at that on there. Once I get this inked up, won't that be pretty? I should have used these cards when I was cutting stuff out. Well, we'll use some of both. Let's see, we're 106, so we've got a little while yet. All right, what do you guys think about that one on there, on the very inside of the page? And then my other question is, should I dry brush on some gesso to push that back a little, the background? You'll still see all the music. Um, it'll just be, um, you know, a little lighter. So what do you guys think? Gesso? Yes or no? I almost think it would be helpful. Tell me quick, because I'm getting ready to do it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think it'll... Well, I don't... These are the focal points that I have, and none of them are... dark enough. I have yes, sure, let's do this one and see what you guys think once I get it done. Now, I need to put this on something that I can move so I don't get all my stuff in it. Okay, let me uh, dry this off really good. It's sitting in the water. I just don't want a lot of moisture. Hey, Tammy. Good girl. Well, let's do one. We don't have to do them all. Let me just show you what this looks like. There. That's about it. Nothing too dark, just a little bit to push it into the back so that that stands out. What do you guys think of that? Mary. And when I dry it, it'll get even lighter. You see how light that is? I mean, hardly, you can hardly see it. It just takes some of that harshness. Yeah, it really makes the focal point stand out. You're on coffee duty. I like that a lot. And I'm not going to put anything else behind the um, bird. I'm just going to put the bird like right in the middle of the page. And if we want to put something here, I got that glue book out and I'm not even using it. All right, let's. Yeah, I like it, Darla. I think it, um, 
I always put things on crooked. Always. I think that looks good. And then I hold it up and it's like, ah, oh, that's crooked. All right, what did I do with my... Okay, there's the first page in our little journal. This will be a journal page. We'll find some fun paper to put on there. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you do. Well, that's okay. It happens that way sometimes. Hey, I get outvoted plenty. You know that. I get outvoted a lot. So that's the method to your madness. If you choose the off the wall answers, you can't get outvoted. You silly girl. You silly, silly girl. I'm going to do another big, long walk today. I walked yesterday, but it wasn't, it was only like an hour and four minutes, I think. Just barely over an hour. Um, I'm going to try to do the hour and 20 minute walk today. And the only reason I didn't do it again yesterday is because hubby was with me and he didn't want to he didn't want to walk that far. But I'm gonna tell him that I'm doing it today. so if he, He'll either have to turn around part way through and go back home or. And if you guys are friends with me on Facebook, um, you can go and look. I posted a picture of the beautiful, beautiful um, lake area that I walk in. And it's just like a couple of miles from my house. It's so Um, it's so beautiful. We have such, and we have so many like nature trails and stuff right around the house. All right. And then And I took a picture. So we took the dog yesterday and we were walking around that nature trail and we don't have to keep her on a leash because I mean, literally the whole time I've been walking there, I've seen like three people. Um, they're just, people don't use that trail much. And so, um, we don't keep her on a leash when we go there. We let her run and it's all woods. And um, so we just let her run. Well, the trail goes right around, along that lake that I put in the picture. Hey, Penny. We have Cindy Duncan Arts is new here. And dear Julie Julie was in here. I don't know if she's still here or not, but she was. All right, there's our next page. So let me do the little gesso trick again, just lightly. So if you guys want to do this, it's just no water in your brush, just a dry brush and very lightly, just to give it a little bit of... Um, just to mask the brush. Sometimes when I have a um, focal that I really want to use and the background is just too busy, I'll do this. Or sometimes I take the, um, yeah, these are walking trails. So you can really see they're, oh yeah, lots of snakes this time of year. Yeah. 
I agree with the pup. Um, but anyway, I'll do this technique, or if this isn't enough to push it back enough, I'll do um, the white, you know, the white layers of the napkins when we separate the napkins. I'll put down a layer of that, and you can still see through it. Um, Okay, Cindy, we won't finish it today. We'll have to finish it. I don't come on live on Saturday or Sunday, but Monday morning we'll finish it. How about that one on there? Do you guys like that? Ooh, this one's pretty too. We have that and then we could put something up here. A or B, what do you guys think? Yes, yeah, Cindy, thank you so much for coming and joining us. Um, yeah. Okay, Mimi's Treasure Cottage. Okay, A or B, which one? I kind of like better because it's like a full picture. So I'm going to go with that. L, you silly girl. I'm just going to put this one down. We could use that other one. If people want the other one, we could use it on another page. I know. Nydia says, oh, Nydia. Nydia, 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 you are, you are a letting peer pressure get to you, my dear. Marty is rubbing off on you. X. What do you mean X? Nydia, and she loves it. Hey, for those of you who are in here, uh, Penny, um, Marie, Big Mama, those of you um, who I did the video, put your... Um, channels in I highlighted channels have you seen an increase in subscribers oh you did she got a parrot all right let's do the next one We'll start with a piece of this. I don't know why I always start in the upper right corner, but I do. I got to break out of that, Big Mama. I need some Big Mama impact on me to think outside the box and... <laughs> oh, good. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that worked for you. That fits just perfectly there. Well, I know you didn't use them because I highlighted you. What's going on with that? Or are you just giving me a hard time?
Now the low color This one was kind of a lower color. Okay, you can do that. We can do that. Let's see if I've got a longer one up here. There we go. I think a lot of people said that they were going to go out and subscribe to the ones that they hadn't subscribed to yet. Uh, oh, you know... I have heard that let's put this on here. I have heard that sometimes um, YouTube will just unsubscribe. I haven't been dropping numbers, but, and I hope I don't, but I have heard about people being, that's all right, pull that off. Um, I have had heard of people being unsubscribed. Well, Julie, dear Julie, Julie, we have Julie's in here. Um, I hope that you'll come back. I'm going to put this on upside down. I hope you'll come back and see us again sometime. And next time I'm on your channel, I will speak up and say hello. So we need a... I could alternate between the ones with the little around them and then the ones that are like this. So if we have the ones with the frames, do you guys like the flamingo or the rooster? Which one should I use? Oh, this one's cute. Yeah, YouTube just... They, ha they do, and I don't understand why. Yeah, I'm going to do another one of those videos. I'm thinking maybe once a month. I didn't get Darla on the last one. And um, the Roosty, the Rooster. Okay, we'll put the Rooster on there. So remember, you guys, making and creating what used to be the Digital Collage Club. All right, there's the rooster. Now let's get some ink on him. So anybody have, like, huge plans for the weekend? I don't have anything exciting. Well, yes, I do. I promised hubby that I would have my taxes done by Monday, my business taxes. So you guys know what I'll be doing tomorrow and Sunday. Today I'm going to try to get my invoices out. I was so... Um, caught up with finishing up that um, celebration of life. Hey, Julie, if you want to see, you like to do fun and different things. If you'd like to see something really fun, go look on my channel at my last um, video. I know, good thing I reminded you, right, April? Huh. 
huh, it is crazy. I don't know what the deal is. Um, but anyway, I had a lady that I met, Julie, at um, a show. And long story short, her husband, she was, she was like in her 80s. Her husband had passed away and she wanted me to make a celebration of life journal for him. So his celebrate, he passed away on April 13th of last year and they were doing it like a year later. So his celebration of life is actually coming up and it's a year after he passed away. So she sent me a whole bunch of stuff of his pictures and memorabilia and just stuff and wanted me to make the celebration of life. And so I did. And of course, procrastinator that I am. Um, oh, that sounds like fun, Nydia. Um, oh, good, Pam. You'll love it. I forgot to put the gesso down. And I really do think it makes a difference. So I'm going to pull this up. We'll still use it. And wipe off as much of this as I can. And then we'll do the paint thing. I'm just going to craft because I haven't got to do much this week. Not even get out of your jammies. Aww. And Nydia 13 is such a magical number. Trying to think what I did for my 13th birthday. I think I had a big party. I was in junior high school. I had a big party, sleepover party with all my girlfriends. And I think somebody brought some cigarettes and we snuck out back. It was at my house and we snuck out back. And uh, some cigarettes, I think. Okay, let's put some glue back on this. Pulled up a little of the collage paper, but it really doesn't matter because we're going to put this right back down over the top of it. Except maybe that little piece right there needs to come off. All right. Let's try this again. You know, Julie, I was thinking it might be kind of fun. I can't do it till next month or later, but it might be kind of fun if we did a collaboration, not a collaboration, maybe a, um, well, either a collaboration or a, um, you know, we exchange things and do like a little challenge. Um, might be kind of fun if we did something. Like I send you some things, you send me some things, and um, hmm. All right, it's one twenty-nine. We're at our hour and thirty minutes, but. Here's what we have so far, a dirty cover. <laughs> we'll put something on that. Um, and we have that guy. And I will ink around the edges here. That'll help frame it in. And then we've got that guy. And then we've got the rooster. And then each of these are pockets. So... I may fill them. I may just leave them blank. And there you go. That is today. I'll make that our page for the thumbnail. 
All right. And then, you know, we'll put some other paper over here to for writing. Um, I was thinking what I might do is find some scrapbook papers that were light enough to write on and put some different patterns in here is kind of what I was thinking. But all right, everybody, the rooster, I'm going to use that rooster as the thumbnail for the video. Um, thank you all for coming. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you, Julie. Julie, it seems like there was one other new person that came in. And I don't remember who it is now. But thank you all for coming and um, have a wonderful weekend. You know I love you all. And we'll um, catch you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to leave comments.